Oh my gosh, Woo! welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> welcome to Giggles yes, and Games. Giggles we actually started, games. we actually started with saying the name of the podcast yes. this time. So I'm excited about that. We're learning. We're, we're on episode four. Episode four. Session four. Session four. How exciting. We're evolving. <laughs> if you've been listening from the beginning, every episode is going to be slightly different. A little bit different. A little bit different. Yeah. So in this session, it's actually going to be six rounds. Ooh. What does that mean? Well, it's going to be six rounds and it's going to be co-op. You see that? You see what we're doing here? <laughs> and we're going to take some turns and um, we're going to try some new things yes. this time. And it's going to be kind of surprising for both of us. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love surprises. So, I mean, this makes no sense, but I thought we could roll for initiative. Let's go. This makes no sense. But you, I got, he a, got a, he, a 12. That's a 12. I thought it was a nat 20. Oh, sorry, he got it's a, a 12. really ugly die. Too. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You know, I have dice in the car, Carl. I, I play no, D&D right? every Tuesday. I know, right? I have a whole dice bag. Get? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. my God. That one. That one. All, all right. right. So, all right. Well, not, I don't know if that means anything. But <laughs> no, a nat one is terrible. It's a critical oh, failure. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, you go first. <laughs> Welcome again, and this is our first round. Well, I'm gonna call this anything but the news. And in this <laughs> session, in this round, Laquita and I will be drawing cards from this game called The Plot Thickens. Dum, dum, okay, dum. we're gonna be each taking two cards from each section. I'll okay. let you pick first. You're gonna take two from <gasps> each section. Okay, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> yes. And, you know, just a disclaimer, we're not playing the game as it's intended. So we're just using part of the game. All right. I got mine. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So, okay. So what am I doing? So this is what happens. We're going to look at our cards. Oh, I can look. Okay. And we're going to be telling, like, the featured story of the week. Each. Oh, so okay, like a news so, anchor. Yeah, like a little okay. news thing. And we're going to try to lean on the, you know, fun side versus like yeah. real news. So yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, it's yeah. anything but the news. Okay. Okay. And so we have two people. Okay. Okay. Two places. Okay. Okay. And two objects. All right. All right. And we're just going to take a quick look here. See what we got. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. I don't. I have no idea, but I I have something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. And they don't have to be in order. And you can play one down when you use it. You can kind of do it like that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start us off here. Uh-huh. All right. So our featured um, story of the day or of the week, one of them um, has to do with this out-of-towner um, who's a specialist in dreams Ooh. and they had recently had this dream where they were gonna break open a safe oh what's that oh. break open a safe and um so they didn't know where the safe was gonna be so they just kind of went around town as they did because they're an out of town and they're checking out the sites and stuff like that yeah. and they run into um this lady who um at the bank oh was talking about she was just talking all her business about how she's gonna like um put all her money in her safe instead so she was taking Ooh. the money out right mm -hmm. and he's like oh maybe this is like my dream this is you know i'm gonna be rich i'm not a bad person but you know but then next thing you know she turns around and says that she wants him to help her bring all the money to her car <laughs> <laughs> and so you know they walk her to the car and you know he talks about how he's an out-of-towner and she's super sweet and so she's like oh why don't you come over for dinner oh, no. and so you know they go over to her place oh wait 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 actually they they sit down on a bench first oh, <laughs> no. park bench i'm sorry they sit down <laughs> at a park bench um as, as they're talking about this and they're like you know you, you really should come over you, you help me so much with moving my money into my car and so they go over to her house they go into the kitchen oh yeah we show them it. Oh. kitchen and then they start making a meal and while she's doing it she's like i'm gonna be right back i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> he puts something in the food uh -huh. and they eat it falls asleep and then she, you know he actually made it out with all the money because oh she never got gosh. into the safe can Jeez. you believe it but he became rich and he ended up giving out all that money to um homeless people who are from out of town as well just like him that's good but it's also <laughs> 
It's also still stolen money. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it, I try to put a, put a positive spin on that. <laughs> so, question. So, these have to be one full story? Because yeah. I made them two separate Oh, really? Stories. I mean, you can if you want, I guess. I, I try to make it in one story. There's two people, two places, and two objects. And you don't have to use them all. Okay. Well, I, I have a story. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. I am Brakeisha, New Zealand. But you can call me Breaking News. <laughs> All right, Breaking News. I did it. Okay, the Breaking News today. Yes. There was a barista, a barista at an unnamed establishment that has a mermaid on the front and green logos. No. And this barista ends up becoming an evil mastermind. Interesting. So the barista, as they were doing their duties of serving up nice lattes and espressos, um, there was a particularly strange individual in the back. <gasps> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so the individual had a briefcase and it was black. Mm. And he got up to go to the restroom. So the barista went to clear the table he had just eaten and he never came back. And the briefcase was there. So she took the briefcase and inside it, she found a key. Oh. And this key was not just any key. It was a key to a secret underground base. Oh. Underwater <laughs> base. Oh, wow. So this barista <laughs> got on her swimming trunks. She just happened to be a trained lifeguard. And she oh, put wow. on her swimming trunks and she swam to the underwater base. And she used the key to get in. Oh, damn. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 told that she's just down there with Ariel and wow, everything. She just that's, floats around now. That's amazing. Anytime she wants to get away from the stresses of the yeah. world, I guess she just Wow goes out. Having your right. own personal private underground <laughs> water I mean underwater bases. Yes. Amazing. But who was that guy? What well that guy, he was a rich old man. Oh. And this well, rich explains that, I guess. <laughs> this rich old man also works at the city dump. Oh. And the okay. reason we knew well, that he worked sense. at the city dump is because also in that briefcase was a file. Okay. And his name, Testosto something. Oh, <laughs> Testosto. Testosto Roni. Yes, Testosto Roni. <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't heard of him, but Wow. It's crazy. It's all over the news. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I, mean, I should be hear- it. We should be hearing about him now. <laughs> all right. This is breaking news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our first attempt at uh, this uh, new <laughs> new round. And um, so fun. now we're going to go back to reality. And we're going to do a, a, one of our regular bits. We're going to go into our tactile play. Back to, to life. Back, back to reality. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happens after that. I'm just Neither. dancing. I'm just dancing. Okay. Yeah. So what did we play last week? Um, we actually played a really cool game. It's called... Ba-da-da. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Cosmoctopus. So this is a game all about uh, pledging your allegiance to this really oh, cute yeah. octopus. Oh, we got him. He's so all of us, he is up there. Uh, so all of us are devotees. So mm-hmm. uh, we want to try to pledge our allegiance to Sir Octopus and be the one to collect the most tentacle, tentacles to summon him to our right. portal. So right. it's such a cool game. Now. Um, and you get different different types of cards. You get cards that you can play one time once once you pay their associated cost. You get cards that you can keep that uh, give you a discount off of playing certain colors. And then you also get cards that you keep that gives you like special bonuses and oh things. God. You're so good at remembering everything. That was a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. Yes, and uh, I especially like this game because we all know if I win it, I love it. (laughs) Oh, right. Did you win it? Yes, I won. I should win (laughs) every game. We're going to keep a little tally here, right? (laughs) I don't win every game, but I did win this one. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's super cute, and it's really, really fun. and. It, like there's there's nothing really crazy about it. It's from one to four people, mm-hmm. and you can play it within sixty to ninety minutes. And I saw it at a local store recently, so oh. you can totally get it. 
great oh this one this is a special copy it's signed, it's signed. yeah this uh you picked this up at oh uh, yeah right? we did yeah we sure did oh it's so fun we i really saw it and now. heard about it and we wanted it immediately immediately so what else what have you been playing well what have i been playing board game wise yes I thought you had a board game you wanted to mention, though. Oh, I do. I do have a board game. I wanted to... <laughs> so, um, one of my friends' birthday was uh, recently. So, uh, I have a bag of games that I started because of you guys. Mm -hmm. One of my first games was Medium and Just just One and The Mine. Oh, I love Just One. So, those were some of my first mm -hmm. games that they're started They're like in your my... trunk, aren't they? Yes, they're in my <laughs> trunk. They're in my trunk. I, I all, listen, if you run into me in the streets, I always got the games on deck. Damn just right. let me know. Ooh, that means just we can me jump know. right into it, we right can in the back. We can Open jump the right in. Like... You know, I need to get one of those. You know how they have the <laughs> folding canopy. tables? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get a one of those. Table. All right, let's get going. They're like, all right, we can get a couple rounds going. I have party games. I have story games. I have... So many games. Oh, I'm so excited. Nice. But we played one of the games that you guys gifted me. The oh. Scooby-Doo Betrayal at Mystery oh, Mansion. Oh, okay. So How'd that go? It was really good. I actually should have brought it in from the car. Oh, well. <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe you'll see a picture of it here if I put it in there. If not, I'm just framing my face. There you go. Um, so, yes, uh, it is a betrayal game. So, mm -hmm. um, it's a co op game. At the beginning, everyone's trying to collect resources and you're waiting for the haunt to start. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain events that triggers the haunt to start. And once it starts, it tells you to go to a certain page in the book. Yeah, that's right. I love that. Yes. So, once that's you go fun. to that page in the book, that's the haunt that you're doing. Right. Um, and then. <gasps> Did you recognize the episodes? Are they episodes from the show? I think they are. That's I so think cool. I, I I think some of them are. I hope the one so. that we did, I didn't really. Well, actually, I did recognize it was the praying mantis one, but it was really cool. And then they're separated in different um, skill levels as well. Um, but you don't know that until you get the hunt. So um, once the hunt starts, one player that's playing with you is the betrayer. Mm -hmm. So they end up that. being the monster. They mm -hmm. end up being the villain. And yeah. then they get a separate book that you can't read. Right. Like they have to With read it. With their own little With their rules. own rules, yeah. their own win conditions. Yep. It's crazy. So what was interesting about that. this is as we're playing, uh, one of my friends, she's collecting a lot of items. So we're all like, if she becomes the betrayer, we're screwed because she has everything we need to win. <laughs> so we need her on the good side. Um, and then she obviously wanted to become the betrayer because she knew she had everything. Like, she was just getting so lucky. And um, it ended up being one of our other friends. And this is who uh, the group who I played D&D &D with. So what's very interesting is the DM was the one that wanted to be the betrayer, but she wasn't. It was our other friend. And she was like, is this what it's like to be the DM? And yeah. she, she was just randomly rolling dice when I would fail or something. And I was like, is this what a mechanic? <laughs> What's going yeah. on? Well, at the at the end of the game, she was she was playing with me. She was tricking me. Nothing was really? actually happening. Uh, but I didn't know because I, I don't know what's going on. Right, but right. Um, it was super cool and super fun. And oh. the girls loved it. So. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So Yay. they want to play again because you can play it. There's like multiple haunts and multiple mm -hmm. things that trigger. Success. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Um, we ended up winning. I played Scooby, of course. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> Scooby and the gang end up winning. No help to Scooby at all. The person that actually uh, solved it was Fred. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It was great. All right, Fred. It was fantastic, though. <laughs> Such a good game. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you got it from us. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Thank you so much. So good. So it's now time for our weekly Lorcana update. Mm, mm. Mm. What do we got for Lorcanas? Mm. You know what? Last mm. week after our show, we played Lorcana. Didn't we do like a three? Yes, we did a three person round. We played two Jason. rounds. And I think I actually won. You for won. the first time yeah. ever. You know how many times I played Jason? I, I haven't counted in my, my app. 11 oh. times in which I lost Yikes. to Jason. 11. Yikes. And he just went to a tournament, right? Yeah. And he, he won like three out of he won five. three out of five. So he was. Yeah. Doing really well. <laughs> and you won. <laughs> Only because we we probably helped 
beat him. I don't think I can beat him one on one. I, I only believe because we all played against. Each I other. believe you can beat him one on one. I I want to see you saying. do it tonight. I want to see you do it. Who me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I also won the first game. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I won the first game. I won the first uh-huh. game by a landslide. I think. Uh-huh. Like like you guys tried to stop. There was nothing you can do because I had Mufasa out. I had uh-huh. Aurora out. I had I had so many things out that they're like even if you killed off like three things, I still won. Like and it's just... interesting because <laughs> she used you used a straight up starter deck straight and both starter. of us had Custom created decks. ours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she she beat us both. Well, that first game was it wasn't a fluke, but a lot of it is um the 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 cards that you get, the order of the cards you get. Yeah. My my starting hand had a low aurora, which you know I need her for the holographic one to do special things with for mm-hmm. lower cost. Yeah. Uh-huh. I had the holographic Aurora and uh-huh. I had the mid mid grade Aurora and I had Mufasa. That was my starting hand. Mm. And then things mm. that I could actually ink. So mm. I already knew that I could get Aurora out super easy because mm. you only need three to get her out on top of the lower cost one, which is two. So, and then I had them warded for like two rounds. So it was great. Uh, so I'm excited. I also bought... Uh, a gift set pack on my lunch oh, break. That's right, you guys <laughs> got those gifts. Yeah, gift packs. That's the right. coolest thing that. about these, if you get these giant cards, look at these foil cards. So this one's Mulan. She goes in a red deck. You also get a smaller version of the card to actually put in your Where'd deck. You get that? What do you mean? I brought them out. Oh, you didn't hear oh me say God. I wanted to see it. <laughs> And then the card I'm most excited for, Hades, King of yes. Olympus. He looks so cool in this. Like. I don't think I'm gonna play an Ember deck, but I wanna play it just to play him. Mm-hmm. Like, he's so cool. Can you imagine so you're expected to shuffle that into your deck? That'd be so this funny. This big one, I yeah, know, be right? like, ooh, <laughs> I wonder what card this is. This oversized yeah. card. So, Lorcana's super cool. Um, by the time you guys see this, it'll be out everywhere, right? In big box yeah, stores? I think Walmart, so. Walmart, Kmart. Oh, it's gonna be a crazy, Target. fun yes. <laughs> time. Yes. And aren't you gonna go to one of the tournaments or whatever Tomorrow. or something yeah awesome i I'm excited yes but i have to redo my deck because i start i thought i had enough to make the deck oh, yeah, that i want right. which is blue and purple mm-hmm. i'm eight cards short so wow. i either have yes. to buy a pack tomorrow to get my mm-hmm. eight cards or i'm gonna have to revert back to the starter deck oh you know what they have proxy cards meaning like they have printed out cards in mm-hmm. case you're missing stuff you can just use theirs oh maybe i'll do that because they know it's so new you know, people don't have everything they need. Yeah, I need to have a plan tomorrow. So mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. I'm excited. It should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we're now we're going to take a quick break to hear about our sponsor of the week. Oh, God. And this is a new <laughs> uh, round, new segment in which we are using this game called Blobby. Mm-hmm. Do you remember this game? I remember Laquia we had was some... was so good at this game. I remember we had some outrageous words. Yeah. <laughs> and so, well, I'm, I'm sorry, my face is all up in there. So what we're going to have, I'm going to have Laquia do this because she's so good. Oh, God. So she's going to draw eight letters. So this is like Scrabble in which there's letters. She's going to oh draw God. eight letters. Okay. She's going to put them down and she has to make a word out of these this eight good. letters. And then she has to convince us that this word means something based on one of these cards that oh tells God. you what it's supposed to be. Like this one says high fashion. This one says animated film. Okay. So she's going to blindly <sighs> pick three of these cards mm-hmm. and then she's going to have to pick one of them and give us Oh no. I, and I'll give her like a quick minute. <laughs> no, that no, no, look no, no. Easy. That looks no, no. I'm. <laughs> You're ready? I'm All right, good. So let you, let's have her draw three cards and you get to use one of them. You don't oh, have to, oh, okay. you don't so have to the use thing. them all. If you want to, you okay. can. Okay. Okay. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Okay. <laughs> so. This is our commercial break music. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh no, do the. Do I have to use all of the letters or no? I say no. You don't have to. It's just like in the game. So, again, we're not playing, we're not doing this as the game is intended to be played. Okay. Um, but it's similar, okay? And are we ready for well, our sponsor of the week? 
Look We're you. ready. Our sponsor of the week is Bib Fake. So that's B as in boy, I as in India, B as in boy, F as in Frank, A as in Apple, K as in King, and E as in Edward. Bib fake. What so, is bib fake? Bib fake is actually a couple things. If you look it up in the Urban Dictionary, uh, you will see that bib fake is something that old people do when they don't want to eat a certain type of food. So what they do <laughs> is they act like they're 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 choking on their bib. Wow. <laughs> so they're pulling something called a bib fake. And oh. when that happens, they have to like, you know, clear clear the area. A lot of times they knock the food over. So now the old people don't have to eat that food anymore and they can and then when and then when they're back to like a normal status, they're like, oh my God, you know what I could go for? Oh my God, a cheese pizza. And then they probably are gonna give them a cheese pizza because <laughs> they, just, they just had an accident and oh. nobody wants to get sued. So that's the original definition of bib, bib fake. It's also a conspiracy theory because old people are really crazy. So it's a, it's a conspiracy theory that they've been doing this at buffets around the world. So Golden Corral, Quincy, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, All China the, buffet. Yeah, right. So whenever we go to these places and we see some kind of incident going on, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. what it really is. It a is a fake. bib fake. Don't fall for it. Wow. Like these, especially if it's a senior citizen, don't fall for it. It's a thing. And then um, the second definition is actually the opposite. It's not. It's not older people. It's something that young people experience when they're going through puberty. Oh. Um, so uh, a lot of times you have like your comfort toys. Uh, your comfort blanket, uh, a pillow that you like. I still have my comfort pillow, I don't care. Um, so when you go through puberty, there's something called a bib fake. So it's a fake bib, and what you do is you kind of like throw it over your shoulder, and you kind of wear it like a cardigan. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's called a bib fake. And it's, and, and, and it's something that we've been seeing now in more of the Western cultures yeah. a lot more. It's become like a fad? Is it's it a become, fad or? It's not a fad yet, but we've, we, we've been documenting that it's been, uh, it's been an up, an upcoming uh, trend trends. right now. Yeah. It's an upcoming no trend. Kidding. So if you have any prepubescent teens, you better look out for the bib fake. Um, wow. And sometimes they like bedazzle them and everything. It's great. No kidding. We learn something here every week. Every day. Bib fake, ladies and gentlemen. Bib fake. All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> Laquita, for um, the sponsors of the week. Oh, God. And uh, so now we're going to move on to our next section, which is another um, of our regular segments yes. uh, slash rounds. So round four, plug okay. and play. Yay! Okay, one of the things I'm super excited yes, about, the I new know. season of Fortnite is out. It just started yeah. on like the 25th, so Friday. Um, I had no idea until like Friday night and then I downloaded the update and Guess who I saw? I know. I saw Ahsoka <laughs> Tano. Ahsoka. She is a character that you can unlock mm. in um, Fortnite. I'm pretty sure you can buy her as well. But really, I, it's not part of the battle pass. It's it is. It's that's why I said unlock. But uh, she's not available to start doing her quests and things. Right, yet. right, right. I'm right. thinking it's going to be similar to when you could unlock like. Vader and yeah, all yeah, of them. yeah. And then the eventually, character. Yeah, so there'll be quests for her yeah. eventually. Uh, it's not up yet, but they just show her just sitting uh -huh. there, just all oh, oh, cool. I guess you'll be playing soon. Then. Yes, they have some crazy guns in the game already. Like I feel like I'm playing Call, Call of Duty. They have like a battle rifle. If anyone knows about the battle rifle from like Halo Three, it's, it's, they have like a battle rifle gun now. So it's it's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm a a former. <laughs> I don't know. What do you call it when you're like coming out of, you know, you, you're an addict. addict so a I'm, former addict? Uh, yeah, no, I'm a former, like, I'm a recovering, recovering. Fortnite <laughs> player. I'm a recovering <laughs> Fortnite player. It's, it's tempting, but I think I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Because I like playing with you and we haven't played in so long. I know. And I used to be, you know, completely playing like all the time, nonstop. Yeah, that's why you burned yourself that's out. Right, that's <laughs> you gotta right. You got to take breaks. <laughs> so what else do we yeah, have on board? So I want to also mention in literally about a week another game that we will probably want to play possibly yes. because it costs money so we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fay Farm, okay. September 8th. So we're really into these cozy farmy type of games and this one's <laughs> like fairies, like fantasy fairies and 
Yeah. Oh, have you I'm seen the trailer for that? I, I have. Okay. I have watched watched the trailer for it, for it, and it looks so cute. And it's like the little like aren't you like little chibis? Like little chibi. I guess. Yeah. I don't remember. I just remember them oh. running around. Yeah. Are they chibi like? I thought they were chibi like. I Unless mean, I'm thinking of another cute. game. I don't know. There's so many. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, but so that's uh, um September eighth. And then I have another update. Speaking of cozy farming games, mm -hmm. so uh, the open beta of Paleo is still going on and super excited to announce as of yesterday, well, while we're recording this on a Wednesday, you're going to hear it on a Tuesday. But as of August 29th, Paleo has uh, released their first in-game event. Oh. It's called the Magi Market and it happens in-game at night. So in game at night, like in you real can go time. in well, not in real time, just the in game night. So mm -hmm. when it's nighttime in the game, um, so you can go and you can experience all these different things. So there's different quests, um, there's um, different decor items you can get, there's different uh, items to customize your character. Uh, it's super super cool. Mm. And uh, what I like about the game, <laughs> so remember I told you about the choppers, how you have to yeah. kill them, you gotta kind of catniss them. So there's a choppa hunt that you want to oh, do. Boy. And this is the tip. This is the tip for everyone getting ready to participate. Do the choppa hunt after midnight in game because that's when you get um, more uh, like points and tickets. And there's a stamp card. And once you get um, a certain number of tickets, you get like prizes and stuff. So after midnight in the game. In the game. Okay. So <laughs> every time it goes to midnight sure people... in the game, go hunting for choppas. You can only do it once a night, though. So you can't like mm -hmm. go at midnight and then try to go at like 3 a.m. So you can only do it once, once per night. Um, and they also just have little cute things. Like they have new foods, like festive foods. They have new music, new music items. And they even mm -hmm. have like their own version of like fireworks where it looks like little fairies and mm -hmm. twinkling lights and stuff that you can watch in town. So it's so cute. It's so cute. I have not played it yet. I will be playing it this weekend. Okay. I'm super excited Maybe about I that. Should check back in on that. I haven't played that in a little while myself. Oh, no. And so over the weekend, I mentioned last episode was Gamescom. So I just want to mention, I don't know. Have you remember? There's been a lot of new game announcements and trailers. I don't know if you saw any of them, but I mean, Mortal Kombat ones have been all over the place. Tons of them. Have you seen the new Mortal Kombat 1 I have not. Trailer? Oh, it looks so good. Oh, so good and they're restarting it's like a reboot kind of but it's in story in continuity with the old one it's almost like you know like there's a time jump oh, type of thing you know what I'm saying okay like five years later something, something like, like that. that but like at the end of the last Mortal Kombat spoilers um, <laughs> I think Liu Kang becomes like a god kind of like how um, Raiden oh, is oh yeah yeah and so he recreates the entire world and so in this world, he is like Raiden, like a god, and Raiden is a normal person, <gasps> you know? And so like, it's like the whole story is restarting, but in this new way. Yeah. And it just looks amazing to okay, me. It looks I'm, really good. I'm really excited. And it's coming out in September, so it's gotta be soon. We'll see. The last Mortal Kombat, they did MK5? Was that the last one? What? MK6? No, no it's more like 11. Eight, 12? I don't 11. know. 11. 75? Um, <laughs> I just I remember it, the think. last one that they did. I remember I had a friend that just was playing it nonstop online, like mm -hmm. beating people up. I I can only play fighting games so long. Like I can't put in the hours that I put into yep. Paleo and Fortnite yep. and things. I'll put it on easy and just play through the story. Really, I don't play you know story. I play against people. Oh, my friend, you don't play for the story. No. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's interesting. Yeah, what so else? Mortal Kombat, and you know that game Warframe? Are you familiar with that? It's a free-to-play game, my favorite. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about, Warframe? No. They're kind of like um, cybernetic people. Okay. And it's a um, MMO, okay? Okay. And so that one's more futuristic, cyber-esque, and then they have a new one coming out. It's another mm -hmm. free-to-play game. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Soul Frame. Okay. And I think that one is a little bit more along the lines of something you would like. So it's MMO, but it's more like fantasy yeah. elements to it. But I don't know. That was one of the things I saw through Gamescom and I, I thought I'd mention. 
And then another thing I want to mention, a really big game that's coming out of course. very soon is Starfield. Yes. September, what is it, 6, apparently. Yeah. And that's probably something that Jason will get and play and I'll watch. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of my friends was, was, was talking about it. He was talking about his little brother is, wants to come over and play a lot of Starfield when it comes out. So I guess oh. they'll be playing that. I okay. don't know. Cool. <laughs> and then also, um, before the end of, I think maybe by somewhere in September, maybe before mid-September, if you have Pokemon Scarlet or um, Violet, mm -hmm. you're going to want to redeem your free Mew. You don't have those, oh, games, right? Do you? I can't I remember. I don't, but okay. if I were to get one, yeah. I'm getting Violet. <laughs> you can use um, the code get your Mew, and you would get a free um, you. Okay. Yeah, so so you... make sure you do that. I think it expires sometime in September, so do that soon. And last week I also mentioned, this is the last thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> last week I also mentioned protectors. Um, yes. Heroes, shooters, legends, or whatever. I don't know. if Did you get a chance to check that out? I downloaded it. It's on the phone. Okay. I have not played okay. it yet. I haven't booted well, it up yet. Last week I was excited about it because I thought it was a MOBA. Mm -hmm. It is not a MOBA. <laughs> what is but it? But it's a team... Um, objective game team objective game okay so there's you know capture the flag there's oh. uh, area control there's you know collect these or death match and stuff okay. like that and i had a lot of fun okay. i mean it's just okay. like playing those type of games except it's on my phone but i don't know so maybe we'll check it out yeah maybe play with me i will i will boot it up because i've already downloaded it it's already on the phone so I'll okay. just find some time <laughs> in between school and everything else, and I'll boot it up, and we can play a couple games. See how it is. So I see where we're at right now. Yes. Do we want to? No, we want to keep we going. Wanna continue. You guys get a special, uh, <laughs> longer than thirty minute episode. Let's go. Aww. Next All right. round. Well, next round it is. <laughs> All right, next round we're going onto the screens. Onto, onto the, the screens. screens and onto and the what, telly. Yes. What is what has been on the telly that we have both just watched? Uh, we watched Ahsoka <laughs> yes. episode two. Yes. It was really good. What? So, what did you think of it? I want to do a spoiler thing because there's something I wanted to discuss you okay. with you about. So we're gonna do it again. If you're listening, if you're watching, <laughs> um, skip ahead like three minutes. Uh, turn it down for three minutes because yeah. we're about to do a spoiler. Right. This if you're is watching, your spoiler we'll alert. go like this. It means you know, you yeah, can come back. Okay, yeah, if just you're like watching. muted. All right, ready? Spoiler alert. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Tell me. All right, at the end of the first episode, Sabine. Yes. How is she not dead, bro? She girl got straight gutted. I know. I was like, gutted. people have died from less than that. Less. She got the freaking lightsaber go through her gut, through her, not just, just a slash or anything. Through her gut. There's. I. I just thought. I thought it was a GG. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was it. I. I mean, I just thought that wasn't super believable. That she was like, oh yeah, I'm fine now. Well, so many people die so easily, and she, they were just like, yeah, well, we're, we need to find this thing, so we don't care about whether or not you're doing well or not. We need to find this thing. Yeah. And they're just like... I mean, they patched her up, and it I just guess. looked like she got burnt by a cigarette. Like, it, did, honestly, it didn't look like she got If gutted. it was that easy to heal from a lightsaber stab through the stomach, a lot of people would be still alive. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they were trying to get the... The execution, because they were trying to get the thing and get out before everybody else came. So maybe, maybe it was some sloppy work. Maybe. Maybe they missed. Maybe that girl, she knew what she was doing, and she's like, I'm going to miss all the vital organs, but I'm yeah. going to stop. Well, why, she, why would she do that? Well, oh, because she was a former Jedi. Well, she's, she's like, I ain't going to kill a fellow Jedi or a former Jedi as well. Well, what's interesting is in the second episode, <laughs> remember, she, she, she asked Balin, she was like, so what happens next? Or what happens to us? Like she was yeah, asking questions that right. an apprentice shouldn't be asking their yeah. master like that. She's like, I so, almost killed somebody. I might have killed someone. What's going on? We'll what are we see. doing? Yeah. So that was the big spoiler I wanted to yeah. discuss. Well, that was good. Should they come back? Yeah, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome back. If you were watching on screen, um, that was really cool. <laughs> I love I love doing spoilers, uh, but not for people to hear. So. Uh, welcome back, everybody. We're back. Yeah. Uh, what else are, is, is on the screen, on the telly, um, on your tube? Oh, you know what's super exciting? I Because Jason's got me into One Piece. I'm reading mm -hmm. it. And we're watching it. The One Piece live action on Netflix mm -hmm. is coming out Thursday. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. 
So August 31st. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, by the time you listen to this. It's out. Yeah, you can tell us what you thought of it because we're really excited to, you know, see if it's good. Jason's I, super excited. I don't know if you're familiar with One Piece. Like, do you I, like One Piece? I know, I know Luffy, like, mm -hmm. and I know, like, they're pirates, blah, blah, blah. I've never read the 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 anim the books the manga yeah the, the manga the mm -hmm. manga I've never I've never read those I've never watched the animation mm -hmm. um, but I have seen the Netflix trailer and it looks good and spe specifically the guy in the green hair looked real good so I'm watching for him he doesn't look good there but in the Netflix yeah. adaptation I'm guessing it's him he's the only one with green hair but in the Netflix one he looks really good. Uh. So that's uh, what I'm watching for. I don't know who it so is many on there. Characters I have no idea who, <laughs> I I don't know know who those characters is. are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that should be fun. And then another thing I want to mention is on the bigger screens. Mm -hmm. Have you heard a Mufasa movie? Wait. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. The King. Yeah, it's got to be a uh, obviously a prequel. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But what do you think that's going to be about? Had you not heard of that? I, I haven't heard you. of it. Oh, <laughs> no. I saw Move Fox on here, and I was like, I already <laughs> told people when Lion King would be back in theaters. Like, why are we going over again? <laughs> yeah, I am excited. Okay, they have to get James Earl Jones to do the voice though. Mm -hmm. There's no way they do a Move Fox movie. <laughs> I Unless wonder, he's super young. Do you think that it's going to be animated or like the live action stuff, like the new one? I think it's going to be live action. If I had to guess, they're trying to do a lot of live action stuff yeah. now. I think it would be live action what if are your, they are doing it. What are your feelings about a Mufasa movie? It's interesting. I feel like I'm excited because I love Mufasa, but also it's going to have Scar, so I wonder how yeah. that's going to be. Like, there's no way Scar's not right, in it. You're right, you're right. And maybe it shows, like, Zazu, like yeah. how Zazu came to be in service. And oh, it's how very Simba interesting. was made. That's we know how Simba was made. <laughs> oh, no. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. And on that note, we will go to our next round. Okay, this, I, I don't know what it's I was thinking. It's the final round. Yeah, this is the final round <laughs> of our session. This one, I wasn't sure we were going to even do, but uh, here we go. We're here. So round six, we're going to be telling you about what's coming up the charts this week on the radio. Mm -hmm. And in this um, segment, we are going to use a game that we had used previously, again, oh. medium. Again, <laughs> it's not being used as intended. Uh, I was thinking in this, this one's, I don't know how we're going to do no, this one. We're, what do you mean? We're doing it the same way we did. We're just going to blind fire it. Right. Let's go. Um, I think we're just going to each take one card, look at it, and reveal it, and it will be the title of the song that's coming up the charts this week. Okay. And we will let them know how it goes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I get to pick a card, okay. Okay, and I'll pick a card. And then we'll reveal the name of the song. Are you ready? ready? Three, two, one. Robot. Loud. Or loud robot. Loud robot. Loud robot. Loud robot. Loud robot. Robot. Loud robot. Loud robot. It is so loud cause I'm a robot. I move up, up and down. I got screws up in my up. Oh, I don't want to do now. Go move it, move it down to La Quita. I'm a robot. Loud robot. I'm a robot. I'm a robot. Loud I'm robot. Just break it down. Loud robot. Carl, this is horrible. This is horrible. Loud robot. Well, I mean, loud it's coming robot. up. I mean, it's coming up in the charts, so it can't be that bad. It must be the Gen Zers listening to it. Sorry, Gen Zers. <laughs> <laughs> this is y'all type of music. This is y'all type of music. Oh, well, maybe maybe we'll check that again next week and uh, see what all of us is coming up the charts, or maybe we won't. We'll see. Loud robot. <laughs> it is kind of catchy. <laughs> Loud robot. Wow, coming up the charts. I wonder who sings that. I don't oh, even know. <laughs> but you know what? For those of you listening, you can you know leave us a message. Tell us what you think about some of these new rounds, new segments, <laughs> and what you'd like to see come back. 
what you can do without, what you or can do without. what we could do a little better of, or <laughs> I don't know, just your thoughts and suggestions. In fact, you should probably follow us and uh, rate us on various platforms that we're having this podcast. Yes. Where do we have this podcast? Well, if you want to watch us, if you want to see our beautiful faces, uh, currently I have mermaid hair, you uh, you can find us on YouTube at yes. Giggles and Games. Giggles and Games. Yes. And you'll see our pictures. We'll and be in the if page. you're listening to our podcast and want to try it some other places, there's also Amazon, Apple, Deezer, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, RSS, Samsung, Spotify, and Tune. In. Woo! We're everywhere. Uh-huh. We, we We're out everywhere. here. Oh, actually, special announcement. We are now on TikTok. Yes, TikTok, TikTok Instagram. Instagram. X, um, Twitter. At, <laughs> and Twitter X. I, X I don't Twitter. even know. I like the idea of X Twitter. It's like, you know, like your X. It's my X. My X Twitter. Yeah, and it's, and it's worse. It's worse. Oh, Lord. X, X get Twitter. your stuff together. So if you're going to go on X Twitter, you can find us at giggles games pod yes and if you're gonna go on tiktok or instagram you can find us at giggles and games pod, pod. <laughs> yes so x you just don't put the n yeah so we everywhere you can leave us a message anytime and it plays yes and then i uh, sign up for our newsletter we're gonna have that oh we have a beacons yes we have a beacons that has all this info on it if you know yes. what beacons is the the hash so beacons, is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dot AI yes, that's right. slash, slash giggles and games. Giggles and games. <laughs> that's right. And so on some of these other socials, we're going to be dropping some bonus rounds. Yes, we're yeah. going to have bonus rounds. So you guys should see some of that probably before this episode. Who knows? Really? Who knows? Ooh. Who knows? Um, and in the bonus rounds, we're just going to feature content that uh, we didn't share with you today. Yeah. So uh, it'll probably be more like silly, wacky content or things that are more time sensitive that can't right. wait for like us to Like something that's going to happen right after we stop shooting this ah! and then, you, you know we won't be able to talk about it so we'll shoot a, a bonus round so we'll shoot a bonus round yeah so thank you so much for playing with us thank today you. and if we see you guys online uh you know ggs <laughs> yeah remember to listen for that song loud robot loud robot loud robot loud robot loud robot 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 bye